Hey hello guys this is Shubham Prado and welcome back to my channel Circuit Asia. So after a long time I came back with a new video. In the previous video we have started a series on ESP 32's special and hidden features. So today in this video we will discuss about the deep sleep mode of ESP 32 and the practical test results of it. So don't skip the video watch till the end let's get started. <music> Before starting the video, if you are not subscribed to our channel yet, then hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified about our video. ESP32 is a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled microcontroller from expressive systems, which have different power modes. Active mode, light sleep mode, deep sleep mode, modem sleep mode and the hibernation mode. But today in this video, we will only discuss about the deep sleep mode. But before starting, we need to understand that why the deep sleep mode is necessary. While you are powering your project using a battery, it is necessary that the system draws a very less amount of power when it is in idle mode. So the battery will run for a long time. Few months before, I made a IoT based letterbox where the power management is a big issue because the whole system runs on battery and I have to put my ESP32 in deep sleep mode so the battery can last longer. If I am putting my ESP32 in deep sleep mode, so there should be some way to wake up the ESP32. We will show you how you can put your ESP32 in deep sleep mode and the three ways to wake up the ESP32 from its deep sleep. Hi, this is Pio Broto and I am going to explain the programming part for this tutorial. I hope you have understood the concept of deep sleep mode in ESP32. So in this program what we are going to do is basically uh, put our ESP32 in deep sleep mode and then wake up the ESP32 to do some predefined task. So the first mode we are going to discuss is timer wake up mode. In this mode we are going to put our ESP32 into deep sleep mode for a predefined time and after that predefined time the ESP32 will wake up and execute some predefined task. So in our case we are uh, taking the predefined time as 5 seconds. Time to sleep is 5 seconds. We are defining that here and after that we are taking a variable which is boot count because we want to record how many time it boots up whenever it boots up it will increment this boot count variable but remember you have to uh, save this variable in rtc memory because whenever your esp32 going to deep sleep mode no other memory can save your variable only rtc memory is active during the deep sleep mode so you have to declare rtc data attr to save your variable inside the rtc memory uh, you can check the esp idf documentation for this rtc data attr and what it does next we are uh, coming to the void setup where i am starting the serial dot begin serial communication and then i am uh, defining the predefined task so whenever uh, the esp32 boots up from its zip slip it will turn on the onboard led for onboard led wait for five seconds and then turn it off and it will increment the boot count after incrementing the boot count it will print the wake up reason why it is waking up and here is the function for the wake up reason uh, as i have told earlier there are multiple ways to wake up the esp32 from its deep sleep mode so the, uh, here are the methodologies by which you can wake up the esp32 from its deep sleep mode but we are using uh, the uh, timer wake up mode and after printing the wake up reason we have to enable the timer wake up mode for that i am using this uh, line of code esp sleep enable timer wake up 
and the time after which it should wake up which is 5 seconds here so after each 5 seconds it will wake up and turn on the onboard LED for 5 seconds and then turn it off then increment the boot count then print the wake up reason which is basically the timer wake up and it will print the this wake up reason and then enable the timer wake up mode and then here this line of code this is the start of the deep sleep mode remember you have to configure the wake up methods which is timer wake up but in your case it could be anything uh, among this uh, wake up methodology external interrupt or touchpad or ulp so you have to configure the esp32 uh, wake up methodology before you put your esp32 in deep sleep mode so i am configuring the timer wake up mode here and putting the time it should sleep for and then i am starting the deep sleep mode esp underscore deep underscore sleep underscore start so it is going to deep sleep mode the next wake up methodology is touch pin wake up methodology so as you know esp32 has multiple touch pads which are defined here uh, in gpio 4 gpio 0 gpio 2 and so on so whenever uh, you touch uh, any of these pins the esp32 will wake up from its deep sleep and do the predefined task which in our case is it will turn on the onboard led for five seconds and then turn it off and after that it will increment the boot count variable which we are saving into the, into the rtc memory and then it will print the wake up reason in our case it is going to be the touchpad and then it is going to print for which touchpad it woke up so there as there are multiple touchpad it will detect for which touchpad it is waking up and after that we have to declare the which touchpad it should wake up for so we are using the gpio 15 which is touchpad 3 so we, we have to configure that as a interrupt so this function will do that for us touch attach interrupt t3 means touchpad 3 which means gpio 15 and then there is a callback function you can put any uh, function or any task in this callback function and this is the threshold because uh, the touchpad will read the analog value so in our case the threshold is 40 so when it is uh, reading the value of uh, 40 or more it will uh, de generate an interrupt which will wake up the esp32 from its deep sleep mode and do this task means runs the void setup again and increment the boot count so as in the earlier uh, methodology the timer wake up mode we are defining the timer wake up but here we have to declare or configure the touchpad wake up mode as you can see here this is the touchpad wake up mode and then we are starting the deep sleep mode so for every methodology of the waking up the esp32 you have to first configure the wake up methodology uh, for timer you have to enable the timer wake up mode for touchpad you have to declare the touchpad wake up mode and then you should start the deep sleep mode so the program structure for each wake up methodology is same now uh, there is one last wake up methodology which is the external interrupt the concept is same it will wake up for an external uh, pin and then uh, perform this LED turn on and off task. 
so we are using gpio 33 to wake up from the deep sleep which is ext0 whenever it detects one in gpio 33 it will wake up and do the task which is turn on the led for five seconds onboard led and then turn it off and then increment the boot count and after that the print the wake up reason which is which is going to be the ext0 esp sleep wake up ext0 so we are taking gpa 33 for our external wake up you can use any other pin so wh whenever it detects one in gpa 33 it will wake up the esp32 from its deep sleep so here we are configuring the wake up methodology and after that we are uh, putting the esp32 in deep sleep mode i hope you have understood the program structure of the deep sleep mode in every wake up methodology you have to first declare the wake up methodology and then you should start the deep sleep now let's see the demo of these three methods that i have shown this is the test setup for timer wake up of esp32 so you only need a esp32 and the power supply and the multimeter setup so now i will uh, turn on the esp32 so the onboard led is on that means it is in active mode and after five seconds it will go into the uh, deep sleep mode and then after five seconds again which is the predefined time it will wake up again and five, after five seconds it will go into the deep sleep mode and it will continue so now it is in deep sleep mode and consuming around 2.4 milliamps of current and now it is in active mode so it is consuming around 47 milliamps of current so you can differentiate by the current values then uh, that the ESP32 is in deep sleep mode or in active mode This is the demo setup for touch pin wake up of ESP32. Here I have using the pin number 15 for the touch pin and I have connected a wire to the pin number 15. Now I will power up the ESP32. So the onboard LED is on and after 5 seconds it will go into the deep sleep mode. So now the ESP32 in deep sleep mode and consuming a current of 2.4 milliamps and if I touch this wire the ESP will wake up and the onboard LED is turned on so we can understand the ESP is in uh, active mode and in the active mode ESP32 consumes a current of 46 milliamps and after 5 seconds it will go into the deep sleep mode and now it is consuming around 2.4 milliamps of current. This is the demo setup of uh, external wake up of ESP32. Here I have connected a switch with pin 33 uh, in pull down arrangement. So a 10 kilo ohm resistor is connected between the pin 33 and the ground. And when I will power up the ESP32, so a blue LED is glowing which is the onboard LED it will uh, turn on for 5 seconds and then it will go into the deep sleep mode so now the ESP32 is in deep sleep mode and it is consuming around 2.4 milliamps of current if I press this button the ESP32 will wake up and now it is consuming 45 milliamps of current and after 5 seconds it will go again into the deep sleep mode where it is again consuming the 2.4 milliamps of current which is very less considering to the active mode. In the three tests of ESP32, we have noticed that in deep sleep mode, 
it is drawing around 2.4 milliamps or 2400 microamps. But if we go through the datasheet of ESP32, then we can notice that ESP32 should not draw more than 150 microamps in deep sleep mode. So why my ESP32 is drawing 16 times more current than mentioned in the datasheet? It's happening because I am using a ESP32 module. So there are many other components such as voltage regulator, onboard power LED, the CP2102 programmer chip and many other passive components which are drawing the extra current. But the main thing is though it is a module it is consuming 20 times less current than the active mode. I hope guys you like this video if so then make sure you hit the like button and share this video with your friends and technical community and if you have any question regarding this deep sleep mode so don't uh, forget to put it in the comment section below and if you are not subscribed to my channel or seeing me for the first time then subscribe to my channel and press the bell, bell icon for notification about my video and if you want to help me out then you can buy me a coffee link is given in the description and the most important thing be creative. Oh, 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 oh,